Every day, each one of Mike McMahon's 750 dairy cows drinks a bathtub full of water and produces 92 pounds of milk and 150 pounds of manure. Sometimes we feel like we're in the manure business and we just happen to make a little milk once in a while, so. <laughs> All of this rich, fragrant manure makes organic crop farmer Dan Palladino very happy. He spreads both cow and chicken waste on 3,000 acres of crops in Pompey. There's enough manure out there to grow the large majority of the crops if we utilize it properly. Farmers are well aware, however, the agricultural poop business does not always make their neighbors happy. Manure is going to smell. I'm sorry. It's just the way it is. On top of the smell, more and more farmers are building lagoons to store millions of gallons of liquid manure. That raises concerns about poisoning the water supply. When you buy a house in an agricultural district, you have to sign a form that says you recognize the farmer's right to farm. But homeowners are still surprised to find out they have no say when a farmer wants to store manure. Dairy and chicken farmers manage manure by spreading it on their own crops or by selling it to other farmers like Dan. One practice is to spread the manure on fields every day. This gets it out of the barn quickly, but it forces farmers to spread it on snow or wet soil. About half of the nitrogen is burned off into the atmosphere. The manure can also run off into streams and lakes. The best practice, the farmers say, is to store the manure in a lagoon so they can use it whenever they want. That kind of control means they can inject it directly into the soil. At McMahon's Easy Acres, a worker uses a skid steer to squeegee the waste through holes in the floor of the barn. A pump sucks the manure into a pump house at a rate of 100 gallons per pump. Then it flows through a pipe into the lagoon. Manure is pumped into the bottom of the lagoon and a crust forms on top to control odor. The lagoon is built on clay soil. The floor has a layer of concrete, a series of monitoring pipes, and a heavy plastic landfill liner. It is surrounded by a quarter inch thick liner of plastic welded in place. The lagoon is 16 feet deep. Three pipes monitor the area under the lagoon. If anything seeps into that area, an alarm goes off. But since 2006, um, we've not had an alarm yet, so we think we're pretty safe there. So because we farm over this sole source aquifer and we have two AA protected trout streams on our land, we have, since 1997, pulled samples out of six wells every quarter and each trout stream and send them to an independent lab. Why do farmers love manure so much? And let's face it, that organic material is the best thing in the world for soil. It really is. It's not just, I mean, if it was just a matter of nitrogen and phosphorus and potassium, we could just spread chemical fertilizer. But all that organic material that's going back into the soil adds, it makes for better tilth and, and a, much, a much healthier soil.